So what I looked at, first of all, was how Schrodinger derived the Schrodinger equation. Uh, and like, what he actually did was to start from the Hamilton-Jacobi equation. Have you mm. seen that? Yeah, um, yeah. Where you basically, you have this function that's called Hamilton's principal function, S. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, like a, it's kind of like a potential for the momentum in the sense that in the Hamilton-Jacobi theory, you think of, instead of thinking about where the particle, th thinking of a single part particle on a single trajectory, you think about all possible trajectories and like thinking of, of them all at once, the momentum becomes like a vector field instead of just a, ve a, a vector. And it's a vector field whose integral curves are the trajectories, the possible oh, okay. trajectories. So it's more like a vector calculus approach hmm. to classical mechanics, which is interesting because it already looks a bit like a field theory or something. Right, okay. Um, and then the thing is, so it's already, it, it already, like, if you're going to develop a theory of particle physics and you're l alive in the 1920s, this is the obvious place to start because you don't know the initial conditions, so you don't know which trajectory the particle's on, so you have to think about all possible trajectories at once mm -hmm. and then come up with some kind of probabilistic theory um, based on that. Right, so, okay. So initially you say, okay, let's start with Hamilton-Jacobi theory and then a probabilistic version of that, um, which is entirely, initially entirely classical. And then you just like, so you could just, and, uh, and another nice thing about Hamilton-Jacobi theory, and just, which is just a logical consequence of like conservation of matter, or at least in non-relativistic theories, is that the, the trajectories satisfy the conservation equation that is then never created or destroyed. So like, d rho by dt plus um, grad of rho v equals zero. Right. Rho is the That's density a, of trajectory. A continuity right. equation. Right, continuity equation. So, so where rho is the density of trajectories in space. And if you think about it, that's exactly the rho that you want to use as like the probability of finding the particle, because you find right. it where the, de where the trajectories are more dense. Exactly. Um, so if you normalize, if you normalize rho, it basically becomes a probability density function. Yeah. You already like the Hamilton-Jacobi equation and the continuity equation can basically be seen as like what are gonna become the real and imaginary parts of the Schrodinger equation. Oh, okay. Um, so it's the real and imaginary. Huh. But it's not quite there yet because this is classical. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the, the the leap is that for some for some random reason Schrodinger makes the um, Hamilton's principal function, which is like this potential for the, for the momentum, i.e. like P is grad S, um, or nabla S, whatever you call it. Um, he makes S complex, and the imaginary part that he adds to it, so he keeps the real part the same, but he adds an imaginary part to it, which is um, log, natural log of the the probability density function, log rho, or it's actually minus i h bar over two log rho. Hmm. And you can show that the reason why he does that is because it means that the average momentum, because it's now a probabilistic theory, so if you integrate the momentum over all space times by rho, um, it's not changed because rho um, times grad log rho when you take the when you take the derivative of the log, it pulls out a one over rho, which hits the rho at the front and gives you a total derivative. So basically, uh, he just picked it because it just <laughs> it doesn't mess uh, with the yeah. classical values, and it's the only thing. It's pretty much the most obvious thing you can pick that doesn't mess with the classical values. I don't think he knew why he was doing it. Interesting. And I don't think anyone knows why he he's doing it. Um, but if you think about this log rho thing, like <clears throat> as a variable, its average value is the integral over all space of rho log rho, which is just the entropy of I the see. system. So like, basically it's related to like, so I think that you could actually derive the Schrodinger equation from first principles, like, not from first principles, but as a natural extension of combining classical mechanics 
statistics and like information theory. Yeah. Um, and that was that's basically what I'm trying to do. 